Hey guys, Drew's here. I am here today to film my October book haul and today I have a lot of books to talk about. Um, I have three Owl Crates, two book of the month. I have pre-order swag here that I'm gonna hide. Uh, one, two, three, four signed copies and a lot of these are pre-orders that I made throughout the month. Um, I'm going to start with the book that I am currently reading and I bought this book through Amazon and I know Amazon kind of getting bad rap I heard but that is Wondersmith by Jennifer, no, by Jessica Townsend. Um, this is Wondersmith The Calling of Morgan Crow. I am currently reading this as you see. I am 200 pages in this one exactly and it's really really good. I am loving this middle grade. I'm flying through it. Um, despite it being like 500 a page middle grade, I am flying through this middle grade book. Do I need the audiobook while list, uh, reading this one? No, but the audiobooks for this one is amazing and it will cover one of the challenges for it. This covers a challenge for colorful cast characters and it also covers for listen to an audiobook or read aloud the book itself uh, for Believeathon round three, which I posted my TBR for that. So, and this is my second book for Believeathon. I'm taking my time with my Believeathon books because I just feel like I will love all my middle grade books. If you missed that video, I'll leave it up here in the cards or leave a link to it in the description box. Um, but I am really excited to continue reading this one tonight after I get home from my karate class and just fall in love with this world again. Um, but yeah, the first book follows our main character named Morgan Grow, and on her 14th birthday she is cursed and nobody ever wants to be next to her in school and nobody in her town believes that if something bad happens everyone just blames Morgan for the uh, incident to happen. Um, they think Morgan did it even though Morgan's only like 13 or 14 in the book and uh, I didn't really like that about the first one but this one we discover that she's part of this society and she discovered this society with our friend I forgot his name oh well I'll probably leave it on the screen uh, Ezra yeah and um, he and Morgan will discover this society called Wondersmith obviously and I don't know what will happen from there but I am that much into it and I'm really enjoying it hoping I will finish it this weekend uh, one that I actually finished this past weekend it wasn't my favorite book and I don't think it was worth um, let's see $16.99 but that is Swamp Things Twin Branches by Maggie Stiefvater this one I read and I talk about my thoughts and feelings on in my uh, weekend reading a vlog edition I made my first weekend reading vlog um, I always did like a weekly one and now I'm doing weekend one um, hopefully you guys like that one that one had my friend Taylor in it she was finally able to do something with me on my channel and we're also having a collab coming soon so this one follows our two main characters named Alec and Walker Holland and these are they it says have a repetition around town one is quiet and the other is life of any party but they are inseparable and for their last summer before college the two leave the city to live with their rural cousins where they find the swamps hold a holds far to darker depths than they could ever imagine um, I was kind of disappointed by this I give this one a three out of five stars and I'll talk about it in my November wrap-up which is up here so uh, kind of disappointed that this was a three stars because I was really looking forward to it but I am really hoping there will be other books by Maggie Stiefvater that I will love. Uh, the next book I got, if you saw my summer book haul and my August book haul, I think, uh, I got the sequel to Never Night and then Amazon had a deal happening where it was buy two, get the third one for free. And so I, sorry, there's something. So I got... Dark Dawn by 
Jay Kristoff. I don't know if this one was for free or it's one of my contemporary books in here that I got for free, but I bought this and two other contemporaries for this deal. Um, and this is in paperback and I love this cover. I was supposed to buddy read the first book with my friend Charlie in like September or October it was and I just never got around to it. I did start another night. I'm only on chapter five now. I'm reading this trilogy very slowly because I do own all three of these books so I'm not in a rush to read the first one now so I'm gonna take my time with the first book and I don't want to read the back of this because I don't know what will happen if there's spoilers on the back I'm guessing there is since this is book three but I only got this book because it was part of that uh, deal that I mentioned so I don't want to be spoiled about this book please don't say anything about this trilogy I'm only like five chapters in and if I get spoiled I will block you <laughs> that's a bit harsh um, next book I got when I was at the bookstore earlier this month uh, I just randomly wanted to go to the bookstore after work one day and my grandpa came with me so I was able to get a couple books and that is I Killed Zoe's Banos by Kit Frick. This is one of the Barnes & Noble YA book club. It has sprayed edges so like of course I got this book. Um, I know my Heather my friend Heather just read this book recent this month and she says she loved it. This is a YA mystery thriller that has uh, thriller aspects in it and it has a podcasting element in it and obviously a murder mystery. Um, it says what happened to Zoe won't stay buried. Ooh. So this has small town vibes or a small village vibe and yeah murder mystery in a small village yes please um i did just got the audiobook of this one from libro fm as one of my monthly credits so i'm so excited to listen to this and i don't know if she listened to the audiobook but i know heather loved this one this month so um go check heather out i'll leave her down below and i bought this book before she uh, Tom told me her review but like after she said her review for this I was like okay this just got placed up super high on my TBR show so hopefully I can get to this one sometimes this month if not then I will definitely read it in December because it seems like the perfect book to read in December and so the next book I got I actually got at Target and it's in the same like same lane as I killed Zoe's Hispanos and that is A Good Girl's Guide to Murder by Holly Jackson. As you can tell, I was kind of in a murder mystery mood, which is so weird for me to say that on camera. Um, I've been watching NCIS for the first time, and I finished that season slash show. Oh my god, my heart is still not over with what happened in season 17. Season 18 is coming back on in, not this week, but I think... I think it comes back on next week so I'm really excited to have NCIS come back on and for filling up my heart with NCIS I will be reading like YA mystery thrillers. I know they're nothing like NCIS but I've just been wanting some like mystery thriller books and plus this is October so I will be reading these two books next month I think or I will save them for October of next year. Uh, I did got this at Target. I went to Target on Halloween on the on the day of Halloween like we went in the middle of the day before we went to, before we went trick-or-treating um, and we bought some candy for ourselves I know we didn't want to pass candy out this year so we bought candy for ourselves I also bought this book while I was at Target I almost bought a baby Yoda stuffed animal I know that's kind of childish of me but it was so cute I will put a picture of it in my book haul here to show you but I got this at Target the day of Halloween so I felt like a perfect pick for Halloween uh, again know nothing about this set in a high school um, they heard I got this recommended because I one of my friends said if you loved one of us is lying by Karen M McManus you will love this one so that's the whole reason why I picked it up and plus I just been hearing nothing but amazing things about this one 
Uh, next is another mystery thriller. As you can tell, October was full of thrillers. And that is Emma in the Night by Wendy Walker. This is one of the older titles from Book of the Month. And I'm shocked they still had it um, on their website. And I also know Book of the Month been having some drama lately. But I still love the company. I love how it's all hardcover. Even with like their young adult contemporary books is in hardcover and generally those are in paperback um so this is an adult mystery thriller i know nothing about this one i got this one recommended to me by my friend mandy who i'll leave her instagram account down below she's really amazing uh she read a lot of mystery thrillers this year so she recommended me this one she said although this wasn't her favorite book it was still like a perfect like I don't want to say fast and easy to read because she said there's some hard hitting topic because uh, one of the main characters' name is Emma and it says one night 15 year old Cass and her 17 year old sister Emma disappear. The family car is found deserted at a nearby beach by the authorities are baffled by what could have become of them. Three years later with just the clothes on her back, no evidence or credibility to back her claims back up her claims of what happened Cass returns home without his sister dun 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 that's all I want to read that's all I want to know and I know a lot of you guys don't really want to read the whole entire summary of mystery thrillers um I did know that Emma from Emma books read this one as well and she said she really enjoyed it so this will be my first book by Wendy Walker and I know a lot of people love her books um so i'm excited to discover a new author this month um the next book i was gonna read and then i uh didn't have time for it in october but that is together apart stories by aaron a craig Ariane desmo uh aaron aaron hahn bill cosmer rachel hincott Brittany morris sanaj pato natasha peterson Jennifer Yane. Sorry if I virtued those. I know I totally virtued those. This is one that I talked about in my weekend reading vlog and in my weekly reading vlog. Um, I haven't read this one yet, but I really do want to read this because I need a good contemporary story and these are nine short stories of that. Um, so I already talked about this one in my reading vlogs and I'm just going to move on to the next book. Um, this next book, I'm not sure if I've shown off in a book haul yet. Um, if I did, I'm sorry, but I wanted to show this off again just in case I didn't. Plus, this is an October new release and I have the arc of it. And that is A Golden Fury by Samantha Coe. I don't know, like I said, I don't know if I've shown this off in a book haul at all, but if I did, I'm sorry. Um, this is a new book from Wednesday Book. I saw the beautiful hardback of this at Barnes & Noble when I went book shopping with my friend Taylor this past weekend. And I almost bought it, but I was like, no, you have the arc of it. So just keep your ARC copy. And I still haven't made any progress in this book. I do want to pick this book back up because what I read of it was really, really good. So maybe I'll restart it in November and then pick it back up because I think it's like ARC November or something. Um, so yeah, I still am where I was when I first talked about this book. Uh, and I, I'm going to read the back to you. It says 1792 France, a teenage alchemist is on the verge of a life-changing discovery but the cost may be her very own mind. Uh, so yeah, it's historical fiction slash fantasy, and more historical fiction aspect, obviously. So I'm real excited to hopefully pick this one back up and get it off my TBR shelf soon. Uh, the next book is a sequel, and I think a final book in the duology. I'm not too sure, though. Um, and that is Majesty by... Uh, Kathleen McGee, the second book in the American Royals duology uh, series. I'm not too sure how long the series will be. Um, this one I bought off of Amazon during that deal I was talking about for Dark Dawn. So this was one of the contemporary books that I got off that deal. And it's weird. The Dark Dawn and this next contemporary book that I have here came on the same day. But this one came later. So I was a bit confused by that. But I'm other... But other than that, I'm really happy to have this book. I definitely want to reread the first book, though, because I read it in 2018. Or no, I read it last year in 2019, and I, I really enjoyed it. 
and I think I'm going to try and buddy read this one with my friend Heather in December as well because she does have both book one and book two so I think we're going to buddy read this. Um, this is a sequel so I won't talk much about this so I'm going to move on to the next book. Uh, the next book is Early Departures by Justin A. Reynolds. This is a book I was anticip anticipating, if I can speak today, anticipating a whole lot because I read his first book, Opposite of Always, with my friend Heather and Sydney, and we both love that book. Uh, we gave it five stars. I'm really excited to read this. He talked, he has like time traveling aspect in Opposite of Always. He talks about falling in love with your best friend. He also talks about serial in Opposite of Always and Book Explosion recently read that for the first time and I watched a live show because I wanted to hear their thoughts on the book and it just made me want to reread it all over again. Um, but I did started this one. I'm currently reading this one for uh, Readathon for an own voices novel and so I'm real excited. I am enjoying this one. I'm not that far into it as you can see. I'm literally like probably on the first or second chapter of this book but like what I read of the first couple chapters it's really good so I'll hopefully get this read and get this off my um, TBR shelf for the month. Uh, the next book I got was Smash It by Francina Simone. I think Francina Simone is a booktuber on here so if I can find her booktube channel I'll try and link it down below. Uh, but this is a new release that came out in September and this just sounds really amazing. It sounds like the young adult version of Get a Life Chloe Brown uh, where our main character, let's see, oh this is so brand new. Our, our name, char main character Olivia Jane is done with letting her insecurity get the best of her so she does what any self-respecting hot mess of a girl who wants to smash junior year does. She makes a list. Uh, there's three things she wants to do by the end of junior year. It's be bold, do the things that scares her, learn to take a compliment and stand out instead of back, which are like amazing goals. Um, I just been hearing nothing but amazing things about this YA contemporary and it's short and I've been reading a lot of fantasy in um, November so I definitely will be reading this one shortly. Uh, the next book I got at Target and that is The Lost Book of the White by Cassandra Clare. This is a sequel to The Red Scroll of Magic which I was really happy to get because we are buddy reading this. My friend Taylor and I are buddy reading this in January I think. I had to think of what month of people were reading this in in January or February. I know we were reading Ghost of the Shadow Market this month and then Chain of Gold finally in December. So I am real excited to read this one with my friend Taylor. I will, I already read the summary of this because I read the first book already. So it's not really a spoiler for me. Um, so this leaves off right where we left off in the first book, which is uh, The Red Scroll of Magic, I think is what I said. And I'm real excited to read another Cassie novel with my best friend Taylor. Also, this has a cool reversible dust jacket on this. And I didn't know about that until one of my friends in my 25 and 10 group chat told me about it. So there's this beautiful white hardcover that we can flip around. I'm not going to flip it around because I don't want to mess it, the dust jacket up. But when my friend Taylor comes over for winter break, I'll probably have her help me. Because there's a couple other covers that I want to flip around, but I don't want to do it myself. So, yeah, this is a sequel. I'm going to move on because I don't really like talking about sequels. Because I don't like spoiling the first book for you guys, which will be unfair. So, I'll be right back. So, the next three books are my Owl Crate books that I got for the month of October. One of them was supposed to come in September, but it never came until like the middle of October, I think. And that is A Deadly Education by Naomi Novak. I know nothing about this book. I just got it because they said it was going to be a beautiful edition, signed copy from the author and a letter from the author. So I was like sold. So I bought this book just because of the cover, the amazing cover they did. Look at that foil edges right here and that back. Oh. And then these end pages right here. Pretty. I am, I think we're going to start it this month, but I'm not too sure. My friend Mandy and I said we wanted to buddy read this. And so 
I am gonna be hopefully buddy reading this with my friend Mandy and I'm super excited to read this. This will be my first book by the author and at first I was a little confused of why Owl Crate was doing this because Owl Crate is a YA book box but then I remember that this book itself was a YA, YA title and not a an adult title because her first two books uh, Spinning Silver and uprooted were adult fantasy novels so I want to check those out and then uh, I want to check those out after I read this one is what I meant to say. <laughs> um, next is one of my most anticipated reads of 2020 and that is Legendborn by Chase Dion. This one I've been hearing nothing but amazing things about. Again this is an Owl Crate exclusive cover. It's so pretty. There's also something on the back which I showed off in the October Owl Crate unboxing I did like just look at this prettiness I love it when Owl Crate do this and then there's this symbol right here on the front of the dust jacket and then the letter from the author and then of course it is signed by the author um, I'm really excited to read this one because this has been getting a lot of early buzz um, sorry I can't think and do this at the same time but Jim Warren had been been getting a lot of early buzz and a lot of great reviews for this book. This is your first book in a fantasy series and I'm real excited to start this because I heard if you love City of Bones you would this would be perfect for you and I really love the Mortal Instruments series so I can't wait to dive into this and see what the hype is all about for this one. And then the next one, if I said Legendborn was my most anticipated read, I think this will be like my number one most anticipated read. Um, it's a little damaged just because of the way I was opening it on camera. I had my keys, so it's damaged by my keys, which sucks. I didn't realize that until after my video. And that is The Invincible Life of Adi Luru. Um, as you saw, this beautiful calendar right here was in my... Addie LaRue box and I love that box as you saw I was just geeking out the whole time so this has no dust jacket on it it's just a beautiful hardcover this quote on here it says never pray to the gods that answer after dark um, and then these end pages Owl Crate you are killing it and then this ribbon right here and then it's signed by Miss V.E. Schwab as well. V.E. Schwab is one of my favorite authors, as you guys know. So I'm nervous to read this one because I hear mixed reviews about this one. But I might do a separate reading vlog of me just reading this for the first time in November or December. Or maybe just save it for 2021 to start off my year. Because um, I want to read this before the end of 2020, but I don't think I will. So we'll see what happens. I don't know why I put my books over here when I usually put them up here. Oh well. Um, getting down to the bottom of the stack, the last couple books we have here are October new releases. And the first one is a signed copy, and that is The Trials of Apollo, book five, uh, The Tower of Nero by Rick Ryden. Um, I pre ordered this book through Books of Wonder. So if you pre ordered this book through Books of Wonder, they are a bookstore in New York which I'm not in New York, but I wanted to support Rick Ryden. And plus, I bought this book through Books of Wonder because I went to the book event in New York. Um, not really New York. I was at home watching it on my computer. It was kind of boring, but he did reveal a lot of good news for future books. This is his last book he will write for the Percy Jackson universe, and I'm sad. But I also did got this cool hat. Um, so I got this Cabin 13 hat. It's great. It's like my size is right for this one. It says Cabin 13 on the back and it's really cool. So if you guys want to read a vlog, I'll probably wear this hat outside and read the book outside. So, um, if you guys want to see that reading vlog, let me know down below because I love making reading vlogs. Um, so I definitely am really excited for this. This is also one of my most anticipated reads. Another most anticipated read for October was Tristan Strong Destroys the World by Kimon Mabala. Uh, I pre-ordered this one as well and this one came sooner, than, this one came faster than The Tower of Nero just because this one was coming from the East Coast and this one was just coming from Amazon. Uh, I've been loving how when you pre-order a book it would just arrive uh, 
on the day of the release that's really like amazing that Amazon can do that and I'm really happy that this book wasn't damaged and I'm so excited to read this. I will be reading this one in November because I talked about it on my believe -thon TBR. Uh, the next book I have is another YA contemporary book, and that is Charming as a Verb by Ben Felipe. Uh, I haven't read a book by Ben Felipe before, uh, so this would be my first time. Sorry, there was dog hair. This would be my first time reading this book. Um, I know The Field Guide to the North American Teenager was his first book. Wow, that's a title of a mouthful. Um, and Charming as a Verb is his second book. And I still have my receipt from when I went to Barnes & Noble earlier this month. And <laughs> that's funny. Um, when I went to Barnes & Noble that day, I think I went on the day of the release, if I'm not mistaken. Let's see. Oh man, it doesn't tell you the date. That stinks. I believe I went to the bookstore the day this book was released and I was like why is this out early because at first I thought this was out early but it wasn't it was out on the day I went to the bookstore and I was like oh yes a new release that I can get right now so I bought this one and I'm so excited um I picked it up because epic reads have been hyping this book up a lot so epic reads here we are I'm so excited um I as you can tell this was full of contemporaries and fantasy books and thrillers so my mood for books so far has been all over the place and then the last two books i know we're at the bottom of my book haul um uh, but november should be an awesome book haul i know you're not supposed to really be buying books in november because of no book buying ban in november but i don't follow that i almost followed it and then i went book shopping with my friend taylor and i was like screw it i'm buying books this month so uh, the first book out of the two is Kingdom of the Wicked by Carrie Maniscalco. This is the newest book by Carrie Maniscalco. Um, I've shown this off in my reading vlog. I am really excited to read this. I haven't started this one yet, but I hopefully will sometime get to this soon. I know I'm trying to buddy read this with my friend Amanda, but I don't know if she has a copy in yet or not. But if she does, I'll try and message her tonight and see when we can start this buddy read because I'm really excited to read this. Um, it says on here it's two sisters one brutal mortal murder a quest for vengeance that will unleash hell itself and interrogating a romance um so i'm really excited to discover that romance and there's little like i don't know if you can see them but like this cool little like design on here from the chapter heading so i'm really excited to read this and this map like this map is so beautiful this does have Jane Patterson's name on it, and again, I feel like I'm talking about drama in this video a lot. Um, I know Jane Patterson also has been having a lot of drama, so sorry for supporting him, but it was just a book that I wanted this month, so I will be reading this one, and I can't wait to read this one this month. Um, the next book I got, I'm super excited for this one as well, and that is Lightbringer by Claire Legrand. This is the third and final book in the Ipuyam trilogy. Um, I haven't read book two yet. I am hoping to read that for Tome Topple this coming month, and then hoping to read this in December and finish this trilogy off. I'm so excited to have this in my hand. Um, you can barely see the beautiful cover because of my ring light, but I am really excited. This is a sequel, so again, I don't want to talk about much about this one, but just know that the first book, Fearborn, follows these two main characters. One is a red queen, one is a blood queen, and they battled it out on the throne. And if you love Three Dark Crowns, you will love this trilogy. Uh, so yeah, that's all I want to say about this one. I thought this would be a short book haul, but it was actually kind of a long one. Um, as you can see, I got a lot of books here, and I still have a lot of books to film for my November book haul, so I might not be getting any books in Chris uh, in December. Probably the only books I will be getting is my Owl Crate and my Book of the Month, and then whatever I get as Christmas presents. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. I usually hold up the books that I show you in the videos, but I'm not going to do that because there's two separate stacks here. But thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you love this book haul. If I ramble a lot, I'm sorry. That's just me. Welcome to my channel. Um, and I'll talk to you guys later. Hope you have a great day or night. If you love this video, please give me a big thumbs up. If you haven't hit that subscribe button yet, hit subscribe. Turn your notification on so you don't miss another new video from me. Thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll talk to you guys in a new video very soon. Bye.